Over the past nine months, I lost 20 pounds of fat while gaining four pounds of muscle. And maybe those results don't sound all that impressive in the world of quick fix promises, but this was after I watched the scale climb up 50 pounds, no matter how hard I tried to rein it in. And while an RMR test and DEXA scan were helpful when it came to figuring out how much fat I lost and how much muscle I gained, the whole reason I got these tests in the first place is because I wondered if they could help me get better fat loss results or if they're really only helpful when it comes to the nerdy data part of weight loss. But before we talk about the pros and cons of these tests and whether or not they can help you figure out a fat loss plan that actually works, let me explain how I got here. When I hit 40, I noticed my scale going back up after losing 100 pounds with keto and fasting. So it was time to get back at it. Well, after the holidays. But when I began ketoing harder and fasting longer, the scale just kept going up pretty much no matter what I tried. And not only that, but I felt bad, really bad. Exhausted doesn't even begin to describe it. Most days, I didn't want to get off the couch. And this was when the pandemic was just a twinkle in some bat's eye. Since keto and fasting were a no-go, I had to figure out a different way to get back into my coveted size 6 jeans. Heck, by this point, I would have been happy not to have to browse the racks at Lane Bryant. Not that there's anything wrong with Lane Bryant, but their clothes are so expensive. Plus, what girl wants to shop plus size racks when you have an entire closet filled with smaller sizes that you love? By this point, I was so desperate that I even attempted the potato diet. That's the one where Penn, the taller half of the magic duo Penn and Teller, lost like 100 pounds while just eating potatoes. And I love potatoes, so why not eat potatoes? I'll tell you why not. So I added the potato diet to my list of don't even think about it diets. As I fell down the never ending rabbit hole learning about how to improve my health while also trying hard to get back to a healthy weight, I began weight training for fat loss. This led me down the path of metabolism, CECO, TDEE, and all of those other controversial acronyms that keto experts just don't seem to believe in. But when I followed the basic rules of CECO, I was finally losing again, even after 40. And this time around, I got to do it with carbs. Glorious, sweet, delicious carbs. Not those carbs, more like these carbs. But after avoiding all carbs like the plague for close to a decade, I was still pretty excited about these carbs. While learning basic metabolism acronyms, I came across more, RMR and DEXA. And these acronyms changed the way I viewed fat loss forever. Even though I already knew a lot about macros and how to calculate them, I didn't know a ton about eating to gain muscle. And since my plan was to gain muscle in order to build my metabolism, I needed to understand this. My trainer was useless. She wanted me to go back to eating 1,400 calories per day with a diet made up of 60% carbs. Even though I was eating more carbs than before, she wanted me to eat hundreds of carbs per day. My lean bulking group was worse. Since they could see that I still had a good amount of fat to lose, their experts suggested 1,300 calories per day. By this point, I was already eating at least 2,000 calories and losing at a slow but sustainable pace. Cutting a third of my daily calories sounded like another yo-yo diet in the making. Once I went in for my first RMR test and DEXA scan, I realized it was a good thing that I listened to my finally shrinking gut instead of the experts since my first RMR test showed that I was burning 1,690 calories at rest. That meant I burnt nearly 1,700 calories a day while just hanging out. And by this point, I was active in the gym, lifting weights five to six days per week, and I also worked up to 12,000 steps most days. So listening to my trainer or that lean bulking group would have been a huge mistake. Getting the results from the RMR test confirmed that I built my metabolic machinery up by adding more muscle as well as by living an active lifestyle. Cutting calories by a third of where I was already losing would have led me down the path to undereating in order to speed up weight loss. And even though speeding up weight loss is every dieter's dream, this time around, I'm in it for the long-term results, not just to lose weight quickly, only to regain everything back. And while I love that my tests show that I'm actually a fast metabolizer, which helped me realize that I should eat more food in order to recount my body, please understand that this test can go both ways. I've worked with clients who weren't losing weight even after following online weight loss calculators, so I recommended an RMR test. 
One client who should have been losing one to two pounds per week while eating 1800 calories came back with an RMR of only 1300 calories. This explained why she was only maintaining when she ate in that 1800 calorie range. And it also let us know that if she wanted to lose weight long term, following a reverse diet while also lifting three to four days per week would be the best thing she could do for long term results. Okay, so weight loss success stories are great and all, but by this point, you may be wondering what the heck an RMR test is and whether or not getting this test done can help you shed those stubborn pounds. So what's involved when it comes to figuring out your resting metabolic rate? To get an RMR test, you have to fast overnight before the test. You'll also have to refrain from any caffeine or exercise since both of these can alter your results. The test itself is pretty simple. All you have to do is sit in a relaxing chair for 20 minutes while breathing naturally and not really doing too much else. The technician fits this fancy breathing device to your face and then you relax until he tells you the test is over. RMR stands for resting metabolic rate. This is the number of calories your body burns while at rest while also accomplishing minimal tasks. So if you've heard the term BMR before, this is measured when your body is fully at rest with no movement at all. When it comes to your RMR, this can include low effort tasks like walking to the living room to watch TV. And the reason your RMR is important because it sets the base of how many calories you can eat each day to reach your weight loss goals. And while you may not be able to hone in on the exact number, getting an RMR test can get you really close, which is good enough to figure out a weight loss plan that actually works. Let's take my initial RMR test as an example. Since my test showed that my RMR was 1,690 calories and I was also an active person, this meant that when you add in my daily movement and muscle building routine, I could eat closer to 2,100 calories per day while still being in enough of a deficit to lose fat. And as you can see by my results from August through March, I was averaging around 2,000 to 2,100 calories per day and I lost 23.35 pounds or around 3 pounds per month. So even though I had an educated guess about how much I should be eating to lose weight at a reasonable pace before the test, I was second guessing myself and starting to think maybe I should lower my calories to 1700 in order to lose fat. And while dropping three to 400 calories per day would have needlessly slowed down my metabolism, had I listened to my trainer or that lean bulking group and ate only in the 13 to 1400 calorie range, I would have slowed my metabolism down considerably and most likely would have lost muscle during my fat loss diet. Plus, I would have been freaking starving, which means I wouldn't have even lasted more than a few weeks. And by that point, I would have slowed my metabolism while most likely being driven to overeat due to a natural physiological response that happens when you eat too little calories for too long. But as my DEXA scan shows, I actually gained nearly four pounds of muscle while also losing 20 pounds of fat. This is what's known as body recomp, and it's an amazing way to transform your body, especially when it comes to long-term results. So speaking of a DEXA scan, you probably want to know what that is and how it can help. A DEXA scan is a bone density scan that uses low-dose x-rays to see how strong your bones are. And while bone health becomes super important as you age, that's not why you're using a DEXA scan to help with your fat loss plan. A DEXA scan can also measure how much muscle you have in different areas of your body. The good news is there's nothing scary about getting a DEXA. Much like the RMR, all you need to do is lay still while the technician does his job. When you get the results, you can determine how much of your body is made up of lean mass through things like bones and muscles, and how much is made up of fat. There are plenty of reasons that you want to add more muscle to your body, but for the purpose of fat loss, the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns at rest. And this is helpful since you can eat more during your diet while still losing fat. This comes in handy since most diets are unsustainable long term. And the reason most weight loss plateaus happen is in order to keep losing, you have to keep cutting calories. Eventually, you get to a point where you just can't go any lower and weight regain becomes inevitable. But when you follow a routine that adds muscle, then you may never need to lower calories at all during the fat loss process. In fact, when your main focus is adding muscle, you may even be able to raise calories over time. And the reason a DEXA scan is helpful on a fat loss diet is you can use it to determine if the weight you're losing is mostly fat or if you're also losing muscle along with body fat, which will slow your metabolism down, aka land you in a weight loss stall. 
in a plan where you'll eventually regain everything you lose plus more. Now that you understand what these tests are and how they can help you in a more effective fat loss plan, let's talk about my nine month results and how these results help me figure out the next step in my fat loss plan. My first DEXA scan came in at 40% body fat. Since I already lost around 15 pounds by this point and my Fittrex scale put me at 29% body fat, I was a little bit shocked at that 40% number. Still, it's better to have an accurate number than to live in a fantasy land thinking I was at 29%. As I mentioned, my first RMR test showed my resting metabolism somewhere around 1,690 calories per day. Having these numbers were really helpful when it came to figuring out macros for fat loss. Since the goal of any fat loss diet should be to eat as much as possible while still losing at a reasonable pace, I was able to set my calories high enough to fuel my workouts while still eating in a slight deficit. Armed with this info, I continued averaging right around 2,000 calories per day through March. And as you can see by my data sheet, I lost between 2 to 4 pounds most months. And while this isn't quite as impressive as those diet plans that promise you'll lose 20 pounds in a month, slow and steady weight loss is really the only way that not only will you eventually reach your goal, but you'll have a much easier time keeping the weight off. When it came to my follow-up test, my metabolism did slow from a fast metabolizer of 1690 to a slightly above normal metabolizer of 1400. While I was a little sad to see my resting metabolic rate go down, this is something that you should expect anytime you lose weight. Since there's less of you, it's going to take less calories to maintain your weight. But that's where building muscle comes in. Since I've taken time to build nearly four pounds of muscle while also dropping 20 pounds of fat, I've still been able to keep my calories fairly high while inching closer to my goal. Before getting my follow-up test, I was thinking that my goal should maybe be to lose another 5 to 10 pounds of fat since my waist is still a little bit rounder than I'd like. But having these tests actually changed my mind as well as my approach. My test results recommended that I should gain 8 pounds of muscle while keeping my weight the same. So with this plan, even though my goal is to keep my weight right around 157 pounds, when I add more muscle, my body fat percentage will go down without losing weight on the scale. This means I get to eat more while also getting a leaner physique. And anytime I get to eat more while fitting into my size sixes, that is a plan that I am fully on board with. Even better, I get to quit calorie restrictive diets and eat more on purpose for the first time in my life. So while I'm excited to see where this new journey takes me, let's get back to you. Will getting an RMR test and DEXA scan help you in your fat loss journey? 100% yes. I recommend anyone starting a fat loss journey to get these tests to help you figure out your starting point. Having this hard data to start your plan out can save you weeks or even months of guessing, hoping, and praying that your plan is going to work. And while having this data can help save you from overeating, it can also save a lot of women from undereating, which is a big problem in diet culture, especially for women. While you can track calories and kind of guess where you should be, these tests give you the data that you need to figure out a plan that is all but guaranteed to work. So if you're someone who's struggled with constantly losing followed by regained weight, learning more about your metabolism can help you end that yo-yo diet cycle for good. I've worked with both clients who started their plans with these tests, as well as clients who went into the weight loss process blind. And I can tell you from their results, the clients who have this personalized information right from the start get results right from day one. And as long as they stay consistent, they keep getting reliable results week after week. Of course, in order to get reliable results, you also need to understand how to calculate macros so that are right for you. So if that sounds like a skill that you want to learn to take your fat loss plans to the next level, make sure you watch this video. And if all of this is still too confusing, I do coach clients on a limited basis. I'll add my free coaching call link to the pinned comments so you can set up a free call to see if we're a good fit to work together.